I have played a lot of MMORPGs. In my history of playing mobile MMOs, I have never come across a game that looks like this. When I first saw gameplay from Dragon Raja back a few months ago, I thought surely this game isn't going to look that good, right? Like there was no way that what we were seeing in the trailers would translate into actual gameplay. Boy, was I pleasantly surprised when I found out that it really did look that good in game. But but I'm, I'm getting slightly ahead of myself now. Before going any further and showing exactly what the game has to offer, I would like to preface this by stating that the devs behind Dragon Raja have spawned sponsored this video by providing access to the game before it launched. If you want to go ahead and try the game out, a link will be available both in the description and the pinned comment below. The game is completely free and available for download right now through the App Store and the Google Play Store. Alright, now back to talking about how good the game looks. <laughs> okay, jokes aside, when was the last time you actually saw a game that looked this good on mobile devices? I mean, just, just take a minute here to look at this gorgeous scenery, the large open environment, it's crazy. But that isn't all that the game has to offer. While the game looks absolutely stunning, it does, it also plays incredibly well. There are four classes that you can choose from when starting the game. The Blade Master, the Gunslinger, the Assassin, and the Soul Dancer. Each class has their own unique style, their own weapon type, and subsequently their own playstyle. Interestingly, the game isn't plagued by the common gender-locked class issue prevalent in so many mobile games in this day and age. This is probably one of the best parts of the game. You can actually play the class you want without restriction. I know how much of an issue that is for a lot of you guys, and honestly it is for me as well. Although that wouldn't really mean much if you couldn't create your own character, or didn't have much control over your character at the very least. Thankfully, Dragon Raja delivers on both fronts, providing players a lot of customization options. Seriously, look at how good my girl ended up turning out. Yeah, isn't she beautiful? <sighs> well, I, I mean, granted, you know, it did take a little while to make her this cute, but I'm sure you won't have too much trouble. Even at its worst, Dragon Raja's creator customization options are enough to make a pretty sick looking character. And yes, yes you can customize your character's body. I know a lot of you were hoping for the ability to customize certain… uh… aspects of your character, I guess, and I can safely guarantee this game allows for it. There is a very prevalent story in Dragon Raja. The story is, after all, the way with which we progress through the game. The cutscenes are all very well crafted, better than in most PC MMOs, actually. At times, it felt as though I was playing a normal RPG, which is a testament to this game, really. One of the cooler features, I guess, at least regarding to the story, is that you're often given multiple choices when asked questions. This normally triggers a different response out of the NPC. This scene right here in specific is a prime example of what I mean by multiple choices. As is evident, I have the option of either saving Anton or letting Anton taste a bullet. Naturally, I left him because I didn't want to get shot myself, but it left me wondering how drastically the story would have changed had I opted to save him. This isn't the only instance of multiple choice affecting the game though, and is the first time I've ever seen this utilized in a game of this kind. Another thing I know a lot of you guys are interested in are the costumes, the outfits. This is an Asian MMO after all, and as you're more than well aware, Asian MMOs all have one commonly reoccurring theme. Well, two actually. First, the game always looks amazing. Second, there are always tons of stunning outfits to find and wear. And Dragon Raja is no different. After progressing a certain point through the game, I gained access to outfits. Honestly, I'm glad, just a little bit glad, that Mrs. Sticks did not get given access to this game because I would have never gotten around to getting anything recorded. I took several minutes cycling through all of the available outfits, and thanks to the devs behind the game, I had access to quite a few of them. Deciding on which outfit in specific to equip was difficult, but ultimately I ended up going for this one because, uh... I like the little flingy bits on the side, I guess, and it matched my hair. Well, in theory I went with that, but after a couple minutes, I found myself ending up with something a little different. This kept happening, like literally all the time. Don't judge me. I know you are, but you're gonna do the same thing in game. Don't worry. Combat in the game is exceptional for a mobile title. I dare say it might be better than a lot of PC games. It's complete action combat, granted some skills, some attacks require a target to use, but the combat is very fast, very fluid, and requires you utilize dodge and parry mechanics whenever possible. Combat flowed about as good as it looked when watching my character and other characters even fight during cutscenes, which was actually pleasantly surprising. After I finished the lengthy introduction to the game, I gained access to a large, a very large open world to explore. There were various different NPCs to take quests from, a variety of monsters to fight, and tons of content to partake of. Like, 
dungeons, like boss monsters, and obviously, and most importantly, more outfits. The world is also highly interactable. You can sit down on chairs, you can lie down, you can sleep. Finding all the different ways to interact with the world is part of what makes the game so much fun. Honestly, I was very, very impressed when I played Dragon Raja. I have never played a mobile game that looked like this game ever, nor have I played one that plays this good. And again, I have played my fair share of mobile games, trust me. I showed this to Mrs. Styx and she looked at it in disbelief. She went on to ask when it was going to be available to play because she wanted to try it out. Not even she could believe that this game looked and played as good as it did. The game is not only visually stunning, but it is an incredibly high quality mobile title that you should definitely play if you haven't tried it thus far. Again, if you're interested in trying the game out, then I will have a link to download it in the description of the pinned comment. It's quite a game and definitely worth a try at the very least. But that's just my opinion, my first impressions of the game. What do you guys think? Does it look like something you'd be interested in? Let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Someday soon I'm gonna make it.